Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first um, means 1, 2 and 6 programs of um, system software. So let me show you the syllabus so you can go through it. Why I have selected the first, uh, second and sixth is because these three are similar. Okay. So if you see the syllabus, we have the first, uh, we have the 1A part which is about the Lex program. 1B part is about the YAC program. Okay. So these are the two divisions in it. Then we have the 6A as Lex program, 6B as YAC program. Okay. And uh, 2 also has the same thing. Here we have to use the means uh, write the YAC program, but in, uh, along with that we have to write the LEX as well because YAC program won't run unless we write the LEX program as well. Okay. So, first I will be discussing the format of it, how it looks like. So, let's see the question first. Write a LEX program to recognize all the valid arithmetic expression. Identifiers and the expression could be only integers. So, they are only integers, okay, 0 to 9. And operators are there. And we have to find out if it's a valid uh, expression or not. Okay, so there is a um, means formula for it to calculate. I mean, they, we basically have to do one check. Okay, let's see what that check is. Count the identifiers and operators present and print them separately. Okay, you have to check if it's um, <coughs> valid expression. If it's valid, count how many identifiers are there and uh, um, print them separately. As well as the operators, you have to print them separately. Okay, so this is how you'll be writing the one A program. So in the 1a we have to save it like 1a.l and after writing this program we have to write lex 1a.l cc lex.yy.t minus ll and then dot slash a dot out okay that's the format which you have to use for writing this program now let's see what is the program in this program we have uh, this this is the whole code we have divided this code into three parts because there are three parts of it this is the first part okay from here till here is the first part. This is known as what declaration part. Okay, this is known as declaration part. This is known as logic part, and this is the int main function. Okay, and remember for every uh, lex program, note down these points. For every lex program, you have to write int y by wrap program. Okay, means this function you have to write. Just int y by wrap and return one. Okay, this uh, one thing what you have to write. And for every lex program, you have to write y by lex. Okay. And this is the declaration part here. What you can see is hash includes studio dot h. This is for every lex program I've right? And as well as for the uh, yak program as well. So even if it is not used, just write it because in the other program uh, it appeared. So it's better to write. And uh, int id op and v. Id is the identifiers count is zero, operator count is zero, and v is check, uh, for checking if it's valid or not. This is the declaration part. What the variables we are going to use? We are declaring it here. Then after closing this one, we are coming to the logic part. In logic part, we have uh, to identify an identifier, that means a number. How, how, what are the sample numbers? 2, 55, 90, 39 and so on, right? So, we can have uh, at least one digit should be there in a number and uh, followed by one or more digits, right? So, that can be a number. If I encounter this pattern here, then it should be id++ plus plus and printf. It's an identifier. Echo means whatever I encountered that pattern, that will be displayed here, okay? Means on the screen, it will be displayed. Then for operators, slash plus uh, before each operator you have to write slash to remove the actual meaning of it slash plus slash minus slash star slash divide slash equal to these are the operators which will be uh, checking if it's uh, matching any of these operators we are doing op plus plus print f then operator and then echo it okay that is for the operators and we are checking if it's valid or not see for uh, any valid expression it should have equal number of opening braces and the closing braces so whenever it's an opening brace, I'll do v plus plus. If it's a closing brace, I'll do v minus minus. In valid expression, the number will be same, so v will be zero only. For rest of the things, dot means rest of all the things, or the uh, slash n means the end line character. You have to return zero. If it matches any of the other characters, you have to return zero. Okay, that's the logic part. Coming to the int main, first we'll print f, enter the expression. That expression, whatever we enter, will come into y by x. If we take the expression, and then we'll check if op plus one is equal to equal to id. OP plus 1 means what? Consider any expression. Okay, let's consider any valid expression. 1 plus 2. How many identifiers you can find out? Means this is one identifier, this is one identifier. And there is only one operator. Another valid expression divided by 4 into 5 into 6. Okay. Here, how many numbers are there? 4 numbers are there. How many operators are there? 3 operators are there. As you can observe, the number of identifiers is 1 more than the number of operators. Number of operators is 3 plus 1 is 4, then uh, that is uh, nothing but the 4 numbers uh, which we have taken. Means the count is uh, 1 greater than, the count of the numbers is 1 greater than the count of the operators present here. That is for the valid expression. Okay, so that's what you are checking here. 
uh, if op plus 1 is equal to id and number of identifiers is uh, equal to uh, operators count plus 1 and v is equal to 0 v means if it's just a valid expression v will be 0 we will be um, checking if it's a valid one then if it's valid we will be outputting it's a valid expression else we'll be outputting it's an invalid expression okay that's for the first program that is for 1a.txt okay this is the program which we will write and what we will do we will save it as 1a.l in the linux and after that we will write select 1a.l tc dot yy.c minus ll then dot slash a dot out okay so it will be saved and outputted and the same way we have the 6a also 6a.l let's discuss what is 6a uh, code uh, means what is the uh, problem, uh, problem statement write a like program to eliminate a comment line in c program and copy the resulting program into a separate file so basically what's happening is you have written on a code what does this code do is it will access this file and what it will do it will remove the uh, comment lines there are two type of comment line multi line as well as single line both will be removed what is remaining that will be displayed here in the output file not on the screen it will get saved into the output file and the execution is as follows the same thing these two are same code as this one and dot slash a dot dot and what are the two files you are using that will be passing here 6 a in dot txt and 6 a out dot uh, txt okay now let's see how to remove the comment line okay for this the code is as follows here first we'll be saving an input file where we'll have um this is the input file uh, sorry this is the code which will be saving it as 6 a dot l and the uh, input file is uh, means any uh, text uh, text file where you will have the multi line comments and the uh, uh, single line comments in that okay both will be there so um, here is the declaration part and here is the logic part and here is the uh, void main part so let's see what is in the declaration part hash includes tb dot s int cl is equal to 0 so these two are the cl means comment line initially its count is 0 okay after that how to identify a comment line See, to show you the visual representation of how comment line looks is you write something here okay again uh, we will be writing something here and after that another uh, star and flag okay this one of the comment line another comment line is this one and here we have another one okay so this is multi line comment and this is the single line comment so these are two types of comment lines okay so in the output file we will be removing this and writing the final answer as follows okay See? it will be removed here it will be written as follows okay so um, let's see what is this. Uh, the pattern as you can observe here, see here. The pattern is starting from this one. What is this line? This line is nothing but slash and star. Slash and star is uh, matched here. Okay. So whenever we uh, encounter an input file and match this pattern here, it will start. Then the middle part is nothing but caret and star slash. Caret star slash means unless I am encountering this symbol, I have to take in the input of all these symbols. So all the symbols will match except this symbol. So when this symbol uh, comes, then the next one will be matched star slash. So star slash will be matched and the whole multi line comment will be included. Or the other one is slash slash dot star. Slash slash will match this one. Dot star means whatever comes after it, that all will be matched n number of times. It means the whole line will be matched. So here these two are matching the multi line comment and the single line comment. So yeah, that will be matched and it will do plus plus cl and I print yy dot out space. So in yy out what will happen is space will be printed instead of this one what will be, uh, be printing is a space it's a space like this it will be printing then for again in the next iteration this will also print a space so the final output will be as follows okay when this will be encountered this will not match so it will not do anything it will move on okay so that's what is in the uh, 6a.l and uh, here we are taking the input file rb of one as read file rb of two what is rb of one and rb of two it's input and output files when we are doing the uh, dot slash a dot out we are specifying two files right this is rb of one this is rb of two when both of these files is taken as read mode this is taken as write mode okay so that's what we are taking y in and y out y will like to perform the operations on it and the number of command lines are cl will be outputted and uh, this is the thing which you need to write in every like file is y by okay